M0 FXB. Let's download the software for the Hero Yasu IC980 dual band radio. Fantastic little device, only £44 delivered. Pop to my Facebook page and you'll see the files in the file section, the software that you need, and just click it and download it. You'll end up with this folder, Hero Yasu, and double click and it runs well. You and when you connect the cable, I'm going to show you that connected, you don't actually get a port to show up, which is interesting. Let's just go next, next. Uh, actually, no, I do want it to create a folder. And it will just open up and launch, okay? So there it is there. And it's actually quite a nice looking software. As soon as you get this far, just click the E here for English. See, it says E there. Now I'm brand new to this as well. Let me just show you my radio. Now to read, you literally just go at the top here and we've done English or selected English. You've got read and write here, read from radio, write. So we're gonna go read from radio and I'm gonna show you, click start, it's reading now. I'll just quickly show you, saw the screen change and then it says welcome, which you can actually change the welcome message. I'm just going to show you the back of the radio where the USB-C plugged in. Now some radios plug in from the front, but I haven't got that one. Mine's the newer model and the one that I actually recommend. But anyway, you look at the back, you can see there easily to spot in red. A nice clear USB-C connector and it says the word data. You can't miss it. Okay, nice little fan. I haven't heard that fan make any noise. SO239 as well. Nice. Nice little stand there for your car mounting. It's I can't fault this set. The only thing I can't work out, and it may not even do it, is a DTMF transmit, but you can use an app for that, I suppose. So back to the software. So of course, I've put in some channels already manually, and I made a separate video. Let's add one more. We'll just click here, 145.600. Uh, click across, and then the TX will be one, is the input, 145.000 because repeaters transmit and receive on different frequencies. Then the decode, we do want that. That's just here. And we're going to go 94.8. It does do DCS. Not that I've ever seen anyone ever use that. Your encode, actually, let's get it right. We did this backwards. So you want encode, but you want your decode to be on my one. We don't even use decode, so we turn that off. So that means when it transmits, oh, that's funny. It's been a bit... It wants to put it on both. Okay. I think it will still work. And then, ah, oh, that's better. And then the power, let's keep it low. And you've got bandwidth and ignoring the rest. The compander thing, apparently it limits it from going too wide band, you know, over 2.5 kilohertz. So let's just put in GB3WR. For the name, oh look, actually while I'm, it's doing caps. GB3WR. And I could even get rid of those silly dots that I've left on the other ones. It's very long winded doing it on the radio. And if we do another one here, 430.925, that's GB3FI. No, it's 438. I think it's 545, I'm pretty sure. Was it 545? Mm, 525, I think. Anyway, you can look it up on your webs, on your, just Google it, GB3FI. G438525, 3, 5, 5, and then again on ENCODE, you want 77 on that one. Uh, we'll leave it on high for now, and then it's going to be called GB3FI. It's literally that simple now. Quick look at settings, optional features. I'm hoping to find something about DTMF, but otherwise you've got the A and the B band there. And these are like the default ones that it will come up, that it will boot up on. So I'm gonna change that to 434.550. And the receive, I'm gonna go 430.925. Five there just for receive TX. Oh, I wonder if it, isn't that funny how it's got TX? I'm curious now if it will do split mode now. 
I'm going to leave that in and test it. I don't think it will, but you never know. Uh, power off. What else we got here? Beeps. Double watch. All the things that you expect to see in the, as we go through the menu selections. Um, offset frequency there. Which actually I don't need. Leave that alone. We don't need that. Offset direction, I don't need that on, not on the just sort of listening channel. Um, da, da, da. Power. Can't see anything obvious that I want to actually change there. Read first and then modify. Okay. So there's time out there, which is off. Squelch. I notice it does come up with a boot, me boot message. I'm not seeing that we can change that at the moment. I'm sure we can, right, so special DC, DCS, scramble, mm, I'm so surprised I can't see, read and write, password, set radio, password, language, help, it just says the software that we're on, file, looks like you can open and save, so we'll save that to my desktop, let's call it 980, so you can always import, export, your your memory channels mm -hmm. yeah I can't see anything else it's completely usable so then we go hover over here so it says right to radio click start and you'll see that the radio screen goes like blue sort of color then says okay and if we go into memory mode so let's have a look Hubnet and then BC WR is what we just put in FI. We're going to VFO mode. Do you remember that we said we were going to test? There's VFO mode. If it did split mode, which of course I don't think it does, but so we put in for that on the B band, we put in this, it'd be on 430925, which it is. So on top of the microphone, it says the words A and B. All right, so we'll flick it to the B band. And then we'll key. And if it does change frequency, that'd be really interesting. So, and then we'll end the video then because I have a little play, isn't it? So, oh my God, it actually did it. It actually will transmit on a different frequency. Let's see if it actually does transmit. I'm sure it will. Full strength signal. That's good. I like that. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.